Hi, you all know me as Light Geo Duck on the forums, and today I want to talk to you about a device that I recently picked up a few days ago. I want to give you an initial impression and a little discussion of it, and I'll make another video later in the future after I get some more hands on time. And it is the Bully VR4 from bully smoker.de. It is a German site, and uh, but they have an English section there so you could read English the descriptions of everything and it comes they have the normal version that comes with basic atomizer connections but this one's actually designed to hold the G120 cigar atomizers which leads me to a few more things that I got the A1 which is from the same site which is a metal atomizer that they made and I'll go more into detail with that. That fits in there just as well. This, the device, this particular model I have is the basic, which come utilizes a 18 or a 16 340 battery. I got the smaller version. They also have a extreme, which takes the 18 650 that a lot of people use. It's a lot, a little bit bigger. Give you a little size comparison. This is the BB which takes a 14500 battery so it's a little bit taller let me take this out without the atomizer it's a little bit taller and it's a little bit skinnier in diameter than the BB okay let me uh, before I disassemble it I'm also going to show you another device or another accessory for this and that's the US, USB Uni and it will turn the device into a USB device and I'm rather impressed with this because of, all, of a few other models that I've tried that turn that have an, an attachment to turn their battery device into a USB the ones that screw into the battery hole I've had I've had too much luck with but this one comes with a regular jack and six there and it works fine it, and the device has a tack switch I don't know if you see it see that clicks pretty well okay so that's pretty much that now, what I'll go a little bit more in detail is the A1, is the atomizer that was built for this. Instead of using the disposable cigar atomizers, they have this portion, which comes apart, and this is a little mouthpiece that comes off. You don't have to take it off, but I'm just taking it off to show you. And um, it unscrews. You got the bottom portion, which is the atomizer itself. Now, what makes this special is if you get your own wiring and element you could rebuild this you unscrew it and build it on. there's videos on the site and I'm gonna add a picture to this video review for the first time I'm gonna try to add a picture that will show it a little bit clearer I've been using this pretty heavy so it's kinda of gunked up when you see the picture now the other thing and what's inside there is the white portion that the, holds the filler which is uh, the disposable cigar has encased in it that's this portion now I'll have a picture of a comparison to a 510 cart this sucker is huge I have to tell you that and this takes like about 85 drops with no problems whatsoever and portion. so what you do is you drop that baby in after you fill it up. Now I have to understand, I haven't used this long enough, but I'm imagining this this filler in here, just like with other cart fillers, it's going to eventually be a not wick or not not drip very well. So you might need to do a modification on this, like you've seen with the other carts. But so far, I haven't had problems with utilizing all, most of the most of the fluid. I can vape this for a long time without having to worry about it. So you stick it in here. 
takes up this eats up away all the time my my video time doing stuff and then you just pop it in there I'm not gonna screw that on I'll just um, tailpipe it now I haven't changed the element it came already with one put on there and I didn't check the resistance on it but so far this is at 5 volts I'm sure you guys could do better vapor.